Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to our new website, ministryofautomation.com. This is sort of a quick introduction about myself. Those who don't know about me, that I have a decade of automation experience and I've worked with all these companies as a full-time employee, most of them. And uh, most of my automation experience is automating enterprise applications like Oracle, SAP, Workday, and so on. If you have any questions, if you have struggling with any specific issue in automation, reach out to me on my email address, okay? Before I proceed with the today's topic, I just wanted to share that I have created this OATS course. Uh, it took like more than a year for me to develop this course, frankly, and I have created it from my own professional experience. I included everything from basic to advanced concepts in this course. So if you're looking for OATS, training videos or if you're looking for OATS training then i'll strongly recommend you guys to take advantage of this course and learn from basic and you know you can master this open script automation this is a very powerful tool now how you can learn the OATS? i have three ways to with which you can learn oracle application testing suite from me taking one-on-one -on -one training or you know enrolling yourself in a group training where we have two three people across globe attending the sessions so it's it's very interactive not you know, more than 10 people it's hardly three to four people generally otherwise if you are a good you know self motivated person i would uh, uh, i'll strongly recommend to take this course online access so that you can learn on your own pace in your own time zone or you know whatever number of time you want to listen the recording pause do a training do a practicals so you can do it on your own so reach out on this particular link or the description of this video to enroll okay so let's jump back on a today's uh, with topic so today we're gonna see a new feature or i would say it's not a new feature but it's it's kind of a hidden uh, feature in open script which is image based recording so as you all guys know open script is really a very powerful tool and it has so many features and most of them people don't even know that you know what else the open script is capable of achieving it one of that is image based recording so today i'm gonna walk you through what is the image based recording how the pixel matching technology works and how the open script can help you to overcome some some automation challenges which the xpath or object recognition you know concepts or things may not work in your script or with your application so in those area where you know your the experts are not working or you're not able to understand how to automate this particular scenario you can take help of image based recording okay so let's see how to do it and what else you can do with this so first is you can detect the whatever images on your application and you can either verify them or perform action on them like clicking on that image image can be anything okay it it can be a button it can be a text box it can be any other any any visible thing on your application i can call call it as an image and you can do whatever it want using this image based recording or image based module in open script you will able to do that so how we'll do it we'll create an image test you know to first verify it that okay first tell me using pixel matching is it that particular image is available on my application and then you can perform particular action on that particular image it can't work on its own so what i mean to say is means it can work on its own but i'll not recommend to create only image based scripts because uh, it has to be clubbed either with a web or forms or adf type of modules okay so we'll see a practical example what i'm talking so when you go and create a new script in open script when you click a new button right on the open script you see this pop up where it asks what kind of script are you interested to create so when you select the image based recording option and click next provide the image uh, whatever the script name is and once this particular page comes where you know your new script starts you see these two small icons one is action and another is verify so using these two buttons or icons we're gonna use we're gonna create our image based script so let me jump back on the open script Okay, so this is my open script. I'm gonna click on new image based recording and then next. This is the one way, other way, let's say I'm creating a web script and then in that also you can 
enable the image based recording i'm going to tell you how to do it so first let me go and create next give the name so i'll say image based so it's very important you know to understand how to name your script so all these small small things i have included in my course so you no know, you shouldn't include special characters or spaces because when you create batch files or when you create a bad files when you want to run them from command line if you don't name your script properly you will face a lot of issues down the line so i have taken care of all this of small small things which you may not find anywhere else because this is out of my own professional experience working so many years on open script oracle apps automation so take advantage of that course and whoever is learning from my course is giving me a great feedback and great uh, uh, reviews so i'm pretty confident on whatever i have created till now and i'm keep on upgrading my course because there are a lot of new features coming in open script with the new features and the new versions so i'm keeping my course up to date right now so once you create image based recording this is the new script which you get but oh why this recording is disabled so this will not help you the reason because for a web scripts or for forms or for adfs what we generally do is whenever you create a new script you hit on the record button the browser launches and you start recording right it records the xparts and the objects and whatever actions you are performing on application and it creates a script for you but the image based recording works a little bit different so let's see how you should create the image based recording script now here if you see these two options which i was talking about one is rec record image action another is record image does these are disabled and why so you will not able to work with them on a java code view so switch it to a tree view now you see this they are enabled right i know this is kind of crazy small small things uh, sometimes blocks you to proceed but yeah uh, i'll i'll make sure that i can make your life easy with all all knowledge sharing things or whatever i have so click on the image base so before i do that what i need to do is i need to launch a browser and go to a particular application so let's say i have already launched a browser and now i'm on the google.com right so what i'll do is go here click on this record image action or record image test so first we'll see what is record image action now it will give you the pop up say press f10 to capture image and it says what kind of action you would like to perform so if you see once you click on this drop down you have right click you have wait appear hover input and lot of <coughs> other options as well so let's stick to click right now go back to your application where you want to capture an image now press f10 the moment you press f10 you see you get a some kind of selection uh, icon right and then you have to select you have to select only that portion of image on which you want to either perform a verify or you want to perform a action on it so so let's say i'm selecting this particular area so i'm saying okay this is the area i'm selecting so whatever highlighted area i have selected only it's going to match that highlighted image when it play back i'll show you how it works okay now double click on the area where you want to perform an action right and what action which we selected and drop down is click action right so i am double clicking over here because this is the area where we type something when you want to search on a google right so double click over here the moment you double click this pop up will appear now if you see here preview this has captured and stored your image whatever you have selected and wherever you double click that it took that particular coordinates x axis and y axis coordinate and then it recorded those threshold of similarity so when you give threshold of similarity is 1 which means you want 100% match when your script is running i'll not recommend to use one because you know not not every time the application uh, can match exactly the same image so generally for me it works from anywhere between 0.6 to 0.8 0.9 is also kind of difficult sometimes so i will say 0.7 0.8 whatever works with you okay now give the name to this so i'll say google search and then click okay so file name you can also 
give the file name because whatever selected image or whatever highlighted image that's gonna store get stored in your script in the png format with this name whatever name you're gonna give it over here it's gonna store that particular image i'll show you where it stores click okay now click close now go to java code and see what kind of code it has generated for you control s save it now if you see here this is the particular img and then dot target is the method then if you see resource file image lib something something dot png right so this is your file which you selected and these are the x and y coordinates threshold of similarity and whatever the name of a file you have given and the action you want to perform on it right so <clears throat> this code got created now if you go back to your script folder or else look, so this is how the code generates and now when you want to play back this what what it's gonna do is it will on a runtime try to see whether this image exists on your application doesn't matter it has to be only on the browser okay so that's why i'm saying this is the cool feature in open script that if you have something pop up or some error kind of stuff which is not on the browser which generally the tool can't recognize because you know it generally connects with the only browser application so you will able to deal this because it only works on image matching so whatever image is actively on your playback you know screen it will try to match it and if it matches it will try to perform an action on it so let me <coughs> run this and let's see the playback result i i'm expecting it to click here that's it because i have only the click operation so what else i can do is if i want to enter something let's try I'll just copy this instead of click i'll say dot input and just test cool now let's run this cool right it selected automatically that particular search bar and it typed the test also right so this is how the image based script works is very there are a lot of cool features in open script and you know you can only take full advantage of this tool to automate your complex oracle erps when you know about it so so reach out to me and i i can be your help i can be your friend to you know learn this just a small request to please subscribe to my channel i'm trying hard to keep up with all the latest videos in automation and your support will motivate me to create more videos so thanks guys see you in the next video bye bye